these are some very important steps that can have a huge impact on the yield of alfalfa. Uh, the first thing that we should do is soil test and determine what is needed to be added to that soil. And when you take a soil test, you not only uh, send a sample in, but you should specify the crop that you intend to grow because the recommendations of the soil test are gonna be different whether you're growing corn or alfalfa or soybeans. Uh, then in areas where the soils are acid, we should apply lime and we'd recommend doing that a year ahead of planting because we want a year to, for the soil pH to adjust. We want the alfalfa to be preferably 6.8 pH for seeding. Now in some of the western states, the pHs are higher and we can plant alfalfa up to a pH of eight but we want at least 6.8 as a minimum. The other thing that we should pay attention to then to get good yield is to look at the phosphorus content and to apply phosphorus and frequently that is best incorporated so we would apply that prior to planting. Uh, we would look at all the other nutrients that are needed but uh, generally on, there's some high potassium soils, but most soils would need additional potassium. And then almost all fields now would need sulfur. We generally figure that we remove about five pounds of sulfur per ton of alfalfa that we grow. And oftentimes, unless we're getting that in irrigation water, we need to be applying that amount annually. Uh, you need to make sure that you have a uh, a level field that has that completely been corrected for any kind of low areas that uh, can, uh, can accumulate standing water. And, and so that's a key issue for, for flood irrigated fields and particularly for areas that have subsoil, subsoil impediments, we would recommend a ripping step because those impediments can really hurt your long-term, not only water use efficiency, the growth of the crop, but deep tillage. Because what happens is if you have an impediment at say one foot, the roots come down and then they just go sideways and you just are not able to get those deep root systems established and that's one of the really big advantages. The, the roots on this crop out here in, in Washington State are probably on the order of five to six feet deep and they're, and they're extracting moisture from those lower levels when there's no moisture in the, in the surface. So it's really important to get that root system down there in the, into the soil.